Today's CPUs really rely on a good cooling solution to maintain their peak performance, with the highest boost or turbo clock speeds only being available if the temperature is under a certain threshold. The longer you can keep your CPU under this threshold, then the longer it will maintain its highest speeds. Now for years, Corsair has offered some of the best AIO coolers, or sometimes called hydro coolers, on the market, combining easy insulation with high performance water cooling in a neat package. They've also always been at the forefront of the latest technology advances so you know if you buy Corsair you're getting a high quality and up-to-date product and that's just one of the reasons we use them in our very own high-end 3xs systems but which one is right for you and what's the difference well looking at the scan website we can see there's a lot of different options so today in this video we're gonna have a run through these to help you understand how to identify them and which is the right one for your PC very quickly, in case you don't know, an AIO or all-in-one cooler is seen as a step between a traditional air cooler and a custom water-cooled setup. It offers the benefits of water cooling in a sealed package that doesn't require maintenance, is easy to fit and looks neat inside your case, allowing you to see the other components. They comprise of a water block which sits on your CPU and then a radiator. Coolant is circulated between these two with fans blowing through the radiator, removing the heat. Naturally, the bigger the radiator, the higher the cooling potential. This becomes more relevant as you go to higher end CPUs that can generate more heat. The main differentiator of AIO cooler classes is the size of the radiator, which is measured by length in millimeters and directly relates to PC case compatibility. Generally, sizes match up to the size of the fans that are used on the radiators, which are 120 and 140 millimeter. Radiators may then use up to three fans in a row, dictating the sizes available. So, easy right, pick the biggest one and you're covered. Well, technically that's true, but it's certainly not the most practical and definitely not the most cost effective. Basically, it's best to pair the cooler with the CPU's requirements with how you're going to use it and check the compatibility of your PC case. So let's take a look at the options available. There are two width options available from Corsair, 120 and 140 millimeter, as I mentioned. H60, H100 and H150 are 120 millimeters wide, whilst H115 and H170 are 140 millimeters wide. Like when looking at the length, larger sizes mean more cooling area. So for example, an H115i cooler will cool almost as well as an H150i cooler with the only issue being that not all PC cases will support the 140 mm width. And this is something you need to check before you buy. So starting with the H60X, this is a 120 by 120 millimeter cooler, so it perfectly fits a single 120 millimeter fan. It's the smallest cooler in the AIO range, and despite its small size, it offers very good cooling. Being small, it'll also fit in the smallest of PC cases. It's actually capable of cooling up to an Intel Core i9-13900 or AMD 7950X, as long as you aren't looking to do any overclocking. It will, however, not be as quiet running these high-end CPUs as it will need to run the fan at higher speeds to maintain low temperatures. If you're using non-overclocked CPUs, then this would serve you well. The current model is the H60X RGB Elite, which uses the Corsair SP120 RGB fan. Moving on to the next model up, we have the H100. These models are 120 millimeters wide by 240 millimeters long, so you get two 120 millimeter fans next to each other. It's basically twice the size of the H60 model and can offer up to twice the cooling capacity. The H100 models are the most popular among PC builders as they're compatible with most PC cases and offer a high level of cooling performance even for overclocked CPUs. They're also generally quieter than the H60 model in higher workloads as the fans can spin at lower speeds for a given thermal load due to the increased surface area. The current models are the H100X, which is the entry model and comes with SP120 fans, and the H100i, which offers the newer AF120. Cooling potential on both models is the same, but models with the AF fans benefit from a wider range of spin speeds, so can offer higher performance based on that. You might also see H100 models offering different fans like ML models. These are now discontinued, so we don't have them in the list, but they still offer great performance and may be available at discounted rates. 
wait until they've sold out. The most up-to-date H100i range comes in three options. H100i RGB Elite, offering non-RGB fans but an RGB-enabled pump head. H100i Elite Capelix XT, offering RGB fans and the latest Capelix RGB LEDs in the pump head. And H100 Elite LCD XT, which has the same RGB fans but upgrades the pump head to an LCD screen that you can use for performance information or even your own images and animations. It is worth mentioning at this point though that any cooler that has Capelix in the name, regardless of its radiator size, can be upgraded later to an LCD pump head which you can buy separately from our website. Moving on, the next model is the H115i. There's no more X models going forward as so we're stepping into the highest performance range, but there are still different options and these are the H115i RGB Elite and the H115i Elite Capelix XT. Like before, the RGB Elite has non-RGB AF fans and an RGB LED pump head, whilst the Capelix model steps up to RGB fans and the Capelix LED pump head. There's not currently an LCD version on the h 115 but as I mentioned before, you can buy the LCD head separately to upgrade it. The main advantage of the H159 models is that they use 140mm width and offer two 140mm fans. This extra width means that cooling potential is higher than the H100i models. It's actually pretty much the same as the longer 360mm models and it's slightly longer than the H100 models at 280mm instead of 240mm but generally most PC cases will support that. You just need to check that your PC case can support the 140mm width. Next up we have the H150i. These are 120mm wide and 360mm long, which translates to three 120mm fans in a row. You'll see a pattern here now in that three current models are available. H150i RGB Elite, H150i Elite Capelix XT and H150i Elite LCD XT. 360mm length is the largest available in the 120mm width and offers the highest cooling potential in that range. It's recommended for those wanting to run extreme CPU overclocks or if you're running high CPU lows for long periods of time. They're also great if you want super quiet operation as again higher cooling area means lower fan speeds for a given load. In many cases the 360mm radiators can actually not need the fans to spin at all. The only disadvantage is that there are less PC cases that support these models. Some cases might only support 360mm radiators in the front and if this is the case you'd also need to check the length of your graphics card to make sure that both will fit in the same time as the radiator and fans will take up approximately 27mm of the total available. And lastly we have the H170i. These are the largest coolers available from Corsair with the highest cooling potential with a 140mm width and 420mm length which again translates into three 140mm fans in a row. They're currently available in H170i Elite Capelix XT and H170i Elite LCD XT. These are for the most extreme setups and you need to check that your case supports both the 140mm width and the 420mm length, as well as if there's any limitations like GPU length. However, it is likely if you're looking at one of these, then you're more of an enthusiast and will probably be using a larger PC case. It probably won't be your first build. So that's the Corsair 2023 AIO range explained. Hopefully it's been helpful for you and you can now identify which model you need and which are the most up-to-date versions. If you're unsure at all about the fan models that you've heard today, then have no fear. We have a 2023 guide to help out with that, so be sure to check that one out. You can find all of the coolers that we've mentioned here in this video at the scan.co.uk website, along with the LCD screen upgrades too. Be sure to like this video and add a comment if you found it useful. Well...